guys, welcome back to a video, another video of the Nutty Woodworker. It seems like months from the last time I've done a video in the workshop. Um, this video is going to be a talking video, uh, sort of a review and a talking video of the Clark uh, 2 seconds. 10 inch table saw. So it is, and also the Herb, Herbar, not Herbar, sorry, Evolution Range 5. Table saw. These videos are not sponsored by Evolution or Clark. The Clark, I've had it for about a year and a half to two years, not too sure. Um, and yeah, so basically, uh, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the features and stuff on the saw, and also, I'm going to be two seconds, guys, no. So yeah guys, um, I'm basically just putting the, uh, the old blade back on this saw because I'm going to be selling this saw because there's no point having two saws but yeah, uh, I'll put a timestamp guys up in one of the corners of the good thing or about the Clark and then about the uh, Evolution um, So yeah, if this year was a sponsored video it would be a lot more tidy, a lot more cut up and stuff like that there but it's not so yeah so, just tighten this here up. I know I'm going to say don't touch the top of the blade, but I don't give a toss. I've got a tool in here that you're going to use and I can't find it. Uh, so yeah guys, the first thing about this saw is as you can see, you cannot make inserts for this saw. Uh, you have to take this whole panel out in order to change the blade. And in order to make an insert for the saw, you would have to just basically bring it up to where it is already. That helps with it directly right. Um, so yeah, as I'm saying, for this here saw, the panel goes into, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the panel goes in there. Goes along there, and the blade is on this side. There's a gap, about you know about 15 mil gap. Bring us down, guys, to see it. As you see, you can see, guys, there. There's like a 15 mil gap along it. The panel they give you with it. You put it in here. If it would go in, hard then it's 100. But yeah, you put this here on, and it's like that. So you've got about a 5mm gap there, and then you've got about a 15mm gap here. But then that's up to 20mm gap both sides. Well, not both sides, like all together. So yeah, that's no good, obviously. Um, it'd be better if this here was on this side, because then you can make an insert. You can't. So you can't. So yeah, and then also another thing is, they made these holes to be threaded. So when you put a bolt in it, the thread in, they sheared off within about a, not even a week of me having the saw. There, 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 and there. So what I had to do was get a nut on the other side and put it down myself. Uh, the dust collection in the saw is absolutely rubbish. I actually took this here off, which goes underneath the blade, uh, in order to, so it would just drop into the bottom. Um, the handle on this saw, if you go down here, it actually snapped off of me, so I had to make my own handle, because, yeah, it snapped off, uh, this here sliding mechanism, it's, oops, it's okay, it works, if you want with the uh, windows guys, my fans on in the workshop, it's alright, it's a bit sticky on it, and um, when I took this off, I actually found out, I thought I was it would be running on like a reel, it's not. There's like f four burns, two here and two here. And that's all it runs on, it's like four burns, which, as you know, burns, guys, if you get cheap burns, they will run it on you. Make no one's business. And the stand they give you with it, guys, it was a little shake. So I had to make my own stand, which actually has this here on it. Uh, another thing about it that I don't like is the fence. When you lock it down, guys, if you can see here, when you lock it down at the back, 
they hold front lifts up like that so when you lock it down you have to use two hands put one here and then one at the back i can't use two hands because i'm recording uh another thing with this here guys i actually have a sh shim the back here in order to make us here be at a perfect 90 degrees so i did without that there it was off by about 15 mil 5 to 15 mil i'm not too sure but it was out by a good bit uh the way this way as well i had a shim it so it would not be that way that's why this piece is on if this piece wasn't here it would be a way off run that way which is really dangerous because it would be okay if i saw no sorry the other way is actually dangerous because if a saw was going this way, if this your fence was going that way, and you push your wood through, it could catch here and then fling the wood back at you. Going that way, it's not as bad, but yeah. Still shouldn't be on a saw like this. This saw cost me 250 quid a few years ago. Now you can get it for 150. I wonder why. But yeah. Um, I didn't even actually check the, ar the ar arbor in this saw to see if it was square. I just assumed it was. I don't know. But yeah, that's basically this saw, guys. Uh, things I like about this saw is the, sli the sliding mechanism. This is the very first saw I've ever had that has this here on it. It just works perfectly. Well, when I had it, it worked perfectly. Now, it sticks a bit. Um, oh yeah, another thing about this here saw. Uh, this here, the fence. What I love about this here is... When you put it into the slot, yeah, there's play. In every contractor saw, you're gonna earn a contractor saw. Every site saw, you're gonna have play. But with this saw, you can lock it down to the back here, and that eliminates all play at all. There's no play whatsoever. So when you do cuts like this, it's always at a perfect 90. So that's a really good thing with this saw. Uh, that there, guys, broke off on me. If you remember the, the camera shaking, guys, a lot, is because, as again, this is not a sponsored video. Somebody sponsor me, please! <laughs> but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be selling this, guys, with the saw as well. So, um, but yeah, this here saw, it's, a wee, it's an alright saw, guys, for a beginner. Um, yeah. It worked for me for about a year and a half, and then I want an upgrade. Now, if you look to the right, you'll see the evolution down there. So yeah. Guys, I will set you up now and we'll next talk about the evolution. Alright guys, you may notice I'm wearing a different top because this is a different day. Um, I had so much on yesterday that this had to be in two days, but yeah. Um, basically, the things that I like about this saw, or the things I don't like about this saw, in other words, because they're the don't likes and then the likes. The thing I don't like about this saw is the fact when I bought this saw, well, I'll show you. It's a wee small thing, but still, if you look at the spanner, guys, it's nowhere near in the center. So when you're trying to change the or adjust the writing knife, it's way off. But this one here, it is in the center. So that's one thing that annoys me about it. Uh, another thing I don't like about it is the fence is all right. I love the way you can lock it here. Once it's locked down, it's solid. It doesn't move at all. The thing I don't like about it is underneath, um, I, can't, I haven't got anything to put underneath it. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's about a, I don't know, about a 4mm gap underneath. Let me see. Yeah, it's about, about a 3mm gap underneath. So when you're cutting small stock, it's going to want to slide under it, which isn't going to be a deal. Um, another thing I don't like about this sort is... Uh, when I was got the saw, uh, and again guys, this is not sponsored by Evolution. Like, if it was sponsored by Evolution, I wouldn't be saying this here about it. Um, when I got this here saw, where is this here up? The rain knife, I'll take this off, the, take this off guys, and I will show you. So yeah guys, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but... Basically, that nut is rung off, well, almost, because this here spanner, it uh, basically 
well not the spanner like but this year they had this here on so tight that when you try to turn it with the spanner it didn't budge which means that this here rung it off. I actually had to get a breaker bar and use it to take it off. I rang up Evolution the guy on the phone says oh I can't send you one out because um, you are I'll put this up guys and I'll explain to you. So guys as I was saying I rang up Evolution and the guy on the phone says I can't send you one out well, he says, I really shouldn't send you one out because you're not a contractor or uh, you're not a special specialist, which I understand 100%. But the guy on the phone, he says, I'll send you one out, give us your address, stuff like that. I emailed the guy with the email he'd give me and it came back, uh, his email wasn't, it didn't work. So, yeah. So if you're ever going to buy one of these saws, Make sure that that there is not as tight as what that is. Uh, the guy says, oh, you shouldn't be able to take it off. Yeah, I get you shouldn't be, t be able to take it off. You should be able to adjust it so it's like about, it even says on the, on the owner's manual, five to a three mil gap above the blade. You can't even do that. It was that tight. I actually hope Evolution actually see this video and then they can actually explain why it was so tight. Uh, I didn't take a video off it guys because I was so annoyed and I was just pissed off with the whole situation. Um, anyway guys, another thing I don't like about this saw is whenever you put the blade guard on, whenever you put this blade guard on, you have to finagle with it, trying to find a hole. Once you find a hole, don't even say that to she said in the comments because I just delete your comment. Um, you have to raise the blade up by quite a bit, by about, what did they measure? You have to raise the blade up by about 3 inches, which is about 75mm. Like, that's, in my eyes, that's dangerous because you have all this blade exposed. That's why I don't use these here things, I don't like them. And then once you've got all that there, you lose basically most of your cotton, cotton kit building. You raise your blade down, right? That's okay. But if you raise it down too much, then you've got to raise the ignition, which is dangerous because you could cut yourself. Like there, you could put your hand there and you could cut yourself. So you have to raise the blade all the way up. Okay, like that. I don't like this blade guard at all. And then you've got this here, which I have no idea what the hell this purpose is for. So I don't, like, I don't know what this is for. What What's this for? This we tap thing sticking it. What's that for? That there. What is that for? Um. Another thing I don't like about this is when you're, I'm not, I'll to put a photo or a video up here off, off it. But basically when you're trying to adjust the angle of the, like the 45 angle, you have to put, Push a dial it and then turn it, which in my eyes is awful uh, awkward because then you have to use your two hands to hold it and not adjust it at the same time. It's just really awkward. I don't like that design at all. It's so annoying. Um, they could have made it where you have one knob and there was another knob behind it, which was, which was the way my old saw was. You adjust this one knob and then the knob behind it you turned. You turn that knob up and that was it. This you have these two hands and just I don't like that at all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of about this here. So I don't like about it. Um, oh yeah, another thing they give you this here, which is the fence. Um, they give you this big thing here sticking out onto it, but there's nowhere to store it on the saw. So you have to put it onto the saw here. Get on. You have to lock that down. But then you've got this here thing sticking out, which is off, which can break off easy. If there's a place to store this, great. There's a place at the side that I think you store it at, but you when you put it in, the thing's bend, it bends like that. So you, even though even that, you're gonna head off it. They give you this with it, 
and you've got nowhere to store it. They may, they'll turn around and say to you, oh, just keep it under the fence at all times. But then that means you have to basically take these here off every time you want to use it. There should be somewhere for this here to go. Um, another thing I don't like about it, uh, the uh, push stick. Instead of it being pushed in this way, like in the storage system, so all, whenever you make a cut, just pull it out where you go, put it back, put it like back under. Now it have to be awkward. You have to flip the whole push stick around so it's like facing, the handle's facing towards the back of the saw. Then push it into the slot. Again guys, I'll put a video up, off it. So I won't. Um, that's all I can think of that I don't like about the saw. Oh yeah, another thing I don't like about the saw. <laughs> Um, I'll take this off the tripod guys and I'll show you this. But uh, I'll explain here if I can. Actually I'll turn it around now. Okay. Basically you've got this wee knob here which locks it and stops it from moving. Well before that there. Um, if you don't lock this here down, there's like loads of play. Like loads of great. 2 mil, 4 mil of play. Which I understand it is a contractor, not a contractor, it, it is a Job site saw, which I understand, but still, there shouldn't be that much work. But they give you a hole here that you're I meant to get this here and screw it into. Yeah, I understand you screw it into there, but if you only screw it in the hole, you've still got that play. So you have, you still got the play. So you have to screw it down, on down, on down, on down, half the hole. I know. Once you got that done, then there's still play. There's not as much play. That's okay. Then you on the knob around here the saw is not going to move because you've clamped this here to this table which is stupid so you've to undo this here like they could just make the table a lot stronger or even this pit this pit this bit much stronger so that all you have to do is just undo this and take away this hole completely this hole's like stupid uh, Clamp it down, that way there's no play at all and you can use your fence. I've actually damaged here because of that there mechanism. That's just stupid to say. Saying get rid of it. Uh, without that there, it's a lovely mechanism, lovely and smooth. There's grease here. I don't know how long that's going to be until that gets to, like covered with sod chips, like sawdust and stuff like that. Um, probably not that long. Uh, apart from that, guys, that's all I can think of that I don't like about the saw. Many of the things I do like about the saw. Well, the first thing being that. The up and down mechanism is perfect, lovely, I, it's really good. I love that. I love for this fence is it moves so smoothly, like really smooth, oops, really smooth. And you lock it down with one hand, where as I said in the other video, I have used two hands to lock it down. Um, and once it's locked down, there's no moving out there, it's absolutely solid. The other thing I like about the saw is if you undo a knob here, this extends. You can undo the fence as well. This extends out, you lock it down, once that's locked down, there's no moving this here, solid, as it should be. Again, you can lock this down up here, solid. So, the fence mechanism, apart from the gap, perfect, everything's brilliant. Uh, right again, lock it down, lock it down. And also, what I like about this here, you've got a place to store this here at the side. But why can't I do this for this here, but yeah, okay. Uh, this here, there's two knobs. Uh, Take a photo of it, guys, or I'll take a video of it. One this side, and then there's one at this side. You know what I mean? And if it brings this here out, you can't see it, guys, but 
Uh, yeah, it brings that there, right? So it does. And then you can close that up again. But I don't think I'll probably ever use that there. But they could have done this saw. Um, I was actually looking at another saw before this here. But it didn't have this here mechanism on it. It was the uh, air bar saw. I forget the range of it. Oh, if I can't remember, I'll put it up. And it had an extension bit out here where it slid out. And it also locked on both sides. So I'm thinking to myself, why could they not have done that? If I made the price of the saw up a wee bit, that's okay. Just get rid of this. You don't need this. Get rid of... Like, get rid of this. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what I like also about this here saw is this here, it's metal. Most saws, well, well, it's aluminium, but most saws you get, this is plastic. It's actually metal, which I really, I'm impressed with. Um, I really like that there about the saw. Um, oh yeah, I forgot another thing about this here saw. I was reading the reviews on this saw on Screwfix. They say when they got it out of the box, perfect 90, everything was fine. No. This when I got this here saw, it was off by about 5mm that way. So it was five more towards the search sliding thing. So that means you don't do the knob. It took me about about half an hour trying to get it perfect. Still not perfect, but it will do. Um what else do I like about the saw? Uh what else do I like about the saw? I actually don't think of anything else I like about it. Oh I also like I also like the stand on it. The uh, put this here back. The stand they give you with it, the instructions as well they give you with are perfect, like the instructions a blind man could do it. Well, well you couldn't do it, but yeah, you get right couple. But the way this here's made, whoever designed this here stand, they are genius. Basically you put your feet on the lever, and then the whole thing lifts up, the whole thing lifts up, down, and then you've got a contact, which is perfect for my shop. I would like it to be a bit smaller, but I'd rather have the stand and not have a stand. But yeah, I like that about it. The saw is perfect. The uh, dust collection in this saw is actually half decent. It's not the worst in the world. My other uh, Clark saw, the dust collection in that there was diabolical. Um, but yeah. Uh, Um, they give you a hose of the saw, which is meant to connect the dust guard to this, but I'll never use that. The thing I, the also the other thing I like is at least you can replace these, the inserts. You can just undo this here. Eee, but I can't do it. Undo it with my fingernail. Some guys that you can undo his fingernail, I can't. Um, undo this here. Take this out. Make your own insert, which is perfect. Uh. What else do you like with the saw? Uh, I can't really think of much more. Another thing was the I wish the tires in this saw were rubber, not plastic. That like a hard plastic, which is I don't know why they decided to do a hard plastic. You could have done a soft plastic. Even if you see those uh, mobility scooters going around the place, the tires are not there. They're like soft, soft but hard plastic, something like that maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it about the saw. Um, I don't know guys, tell me what you think is in the comment section, what do you think about the two saws, which ones are you most likely to buy? This here saw, I bought this here out of screw fix for 270 quid, which is about an extra 100 and, well that's a shit, but 100 and some pound more, I'll put it up in the corner. Um, so, for this saw... Is it worth paying the extra hundred or quid? Mm. Honestly, depending on the task you're doing, yes and no. Uh, to me, what sold me about this here saw was the sliding mechanism. Because that just, it's perfect. Like, there's no resistance at all. It's perfect. I love that, the sliding mechanism. The fence, so it locks on both sides with one handle. It's perfect. I love that. That's, those are the two things. That sold me in the saw. What was nice about the saw as well is that these here extend. Yeah, it's a nice thing. They extend out. And also when these extend out, they're on burns. So that makes it 
go really smooth. It's not like just like a metal on metal. So when you run it out, it's gonna bang up on you. It's it's lovely the way it pulls out on you, for you. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it. Um, so guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and all good stuff. And if there's any videos that you want me to do, a lot of like repairing videos on the um, what you call off their channel or the episode I did before. It will come to me. I forget, but if you want me to do a video on that, I will. And then also, if you want me to do a video on any other we working thing, anything else about we working. I'm going to be making a table for my man and dad, or mum and dad, and yeah, if you want to see a video on the table I'm making, comment below. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a fantastic day. So guys, I just thought about this here in quickly. Um, another thing I don't like about this here saw is the cable that you use is at the back of the saw, which is like stupid have it at the front of the saw because it'd be more handy or even at the side and also the fact that it's really short like have a longer cable but yeah guys okay, so just leave it at this here and